Hi, good day. Welcome to Taste of Flavorful Culture. And today we're going to recreate some Peruvian chicken. All right, but today we're using the, um, the Cornish hens. Um, this Peruvian chicken is actually near and dear to me. My, uh, me and my buddy, we used to go sit down and have some Peruvian chicken right here in Virginia. And um, it brings back memories. And um, I think I'm gonna share it with you guys today. All right? We're using the Cornish hens instead of conventional um, whole chickens. You can get a whole chicken, spash cock it, which means cut the bone out, the center bone out, and lay it flat, or you can chop them in half. But the key to this um, Peruvian chicken is the marinade, okay? The marinade makes the difference, okay? Uh, originally, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do. Um, I might put it in the oven, I might, might put it on a grill, depends on how I feel. I'm dealing with some issues right now and it, it, it tends to decide what I'm gonna do, okay? So, we going in with a quarter cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of a mahi amaro sauce, which is a, um, I don't know how to pronounce it right, but it's a, it's a Peruvian paste. It's, it has uh, Peruvian, Peruvian peppers in it. It comes in, in the hot or you can get the mild or you can just substitute it for something else, okay? You got two tablespoons of the black mint paste. You got about six cloves of garlic, finely chopped. It doesn't have to be, you can get um, the whole whole garlic, because everything is going into the, to the blender, okay? I don't have any red wine vinegar, so I went ahead and put some um, some apple cider vinegar in there, um, two tablespoons of paprika, one lemon, depends on how much juice you have in a lemon. Um, because of the soy sauce, I only went in with a tablespoon of of the Himalayas salt and I went in with a quarter teaspoon of the um, black pepper all right everything is going into the, the blender so you don't have to worry about you know chopping up this and that um, it's up to you but this is what we're gonna do everything is gonna be combined with some olive oil okay so now I'm gonna slide the chicken over. Chicken already been washed in a little bit of lemon juice and also some um, also some vinegar. Okay. I'm gonna use a little magic bullet. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going in with the apple cider vinegar. I'm going in with the lemon juice. I'm gonna go in with the Himalayan tape, uh, Himalayan salt. Make sure I get everything in there. And I only, like I said, I only put a tablespoon in there for the amount of chicken that I have, plus it, it had soy sauce, okay? So I'm not gonna go too heavy on that. Get these out of my way. I'm also going in with the black pepper, which like I said, with just a, a half a teaspoon. You do what you feel like and um, you make it, you know, however you want, all right? Now, I don't like rosemary, so I just went in with a quarter of a um, te teaspoon of rosemary. We got the uh, garlic, about six cloves of garlic. This is the mint paste. I went in with two, two teaspoons of that, two tablespoons, I'm sorry. This is the um, Amahi, uh, Amahi Amalio sauce. I'll put the spelling on there for you. I only went in with one tablespoon. And it's a uh, Peruvian pepper, if you can get the Peruvian pepper, uh, hot or mild is up to you. 
um, that's the best thing. If you can't get that, um, you go ahead and you can, you know, supplement for something else. I uh, it usually don't call for this, but I love my onion powder. So I went in with two um, teaspoons of onion powder. We got basil. We got parsley and everything is a teaspoon. I went in with, this is the smoked paprika. I don't have the regular paprika right now, but I went in with a, um, a tablespoon and a half. Normally they call for two, but because of the smoked paprika, I just backed off a little bit because I might throw it on the grill and I don't want to have too much smoke. All right, well this is too much smoke ain't never a problem. <laughs> All right, we're going in with the soy sauce. This is exactly why I said I only went in with a, a quarter of, um, I went in with the, the little bit of salt that I did because I got a quarter of a um, cup of soy sauce, quarter of a cup of soy sauce. And then there's one of the stars is the cumin. Okay, this is one tablespoon of cumin. You can go in with more, but cumin is very strong. So you gotta be careful with it. Put these off to the side. And this chicken, like I said, it brings back a lot of memories because me and my buddy used to, um, me and my buddy used to go and get some on a regular, get a little bit of soy sauce. I'm saving my soy sauce. We used, to, we used to go and hang out and get some. And I also I used to get in trouble for it sometimes, but I used to, um, I used to teach people to operate buses, so sometime, you know, on the pike, I used to take my students there, you know, on training day, and I used to get the, the Peruvian chicken, you know, I'm like, hey, if they had money or not, hey, I made sure they ate, but um, long story start, I'm going go in with some olive oil, all right, and we're going in, say about six to maybe eight tablespoons of olive oil. We need something to help it to blend, okay? Maybe a little more. Because I got I got quite a bit of um of chicken. Okay? My little red cap because this bad boy loves to disappear. Me, I'm going with a little more because they ain't gonna kill nobody. It's, it's good for your olive oil. I'm gonna take this bad boy, put the cover on it, and then we're going to blend. more olive oil because it definitely needs it it's already a paste but I want it to be a little more flowing I want it to be able to work through the um, the chicken I don't want it just pasty pasty dry spices this thing all right it's almost the consistency what I want so I'm going with a little more olive oil I think that should be it because while being inside because uh, I'm putting it in a Ziploc bag while it's in a Ziploc bag it's gonna sit there and it's gonna um, all the, 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 the seasonings will work through the, the chicken. Alright, 
that's good for me because everything, like I said, is already blended up. And um, I don't want my chicken oily. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be bad for you because, like I said, it has um, it's olive oil. This is just chicken. You just basically dumping everything on there. Carl Powell, I hope you're watching. Cause this um, we've been searching for the recipe for God knows how. This is the closest, you know. I um, I found. I'm gonna try to get every little drop out of it. Liquid. Maximizing everything. We want all the flavor. Every drop. That's right. gloves on and um, we going in with this bad boy and we can work all the seasoning in okay now I did four pieces of chicken four chicken and um, I cut them in half so I'm gonna be able to stick them in a ziplock bag okay well I make sure everything is nicely coated and like I said, the uh, marinade is the key to this bad boy. You want to get the seasoning everywhere. Inside, outside, all around. And being in a Ziploc bag, I squeeze all the air out of the bag. And um, put that bad boy in there. And by tomorrow, all the flavor will work all the way through. Cornish head is not something they usually use, but... Ah, I wanted some Cornish hens, so this was just one way I can get two birds or kill two birds with one stone. All right. Now, the marinade is the key. Like I said, you got to let this bad boy season. A lot of people brine their meats and all that. You don't have to brine it because this is going to act like a brine. All the seasoning is in there. And it's going to be in a Ziploc bag. And it's actually gonna be soaking. And it's soaking up everything. See, look at that chicken. Look at that bad boy. That's a beautiful marinade. Like I said, Carl Powell, I hope you're looking out. I hope you um, try this one. And uh, you got those big, uh, those big old smokers that you got down there in Virginia. And my boy, I'm a shout out to my boy. He um, he makes um, smokers in Virginia, you know, and he does real good quality work. So y'all yeah, check him out. And uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave his name. I'm gonna ask him first if I can leave his name and number and stuff on there. And um, Y'all yeah, check him out. Alright. Now this bad boy. I rubbed it up. Made love to it. Hugged it and some more. And um, I'm going to take this bad boy. Let it sit here for a little bit. It's, our, it's still a little cold. So it's still safe. But while it's sitting. I'm going to go get my Ziploc bag and all of that. And um, we'll be back tomorrow. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Taste of Flavorful Culture again. 
we pick it up from the uh, yesterday and all we have to do is just place the chickens on the rack now the best bet when you're baking them because it's raining today so I have no choice but to go ahead and uh, put them in the oven um, Peruvian chicken is normally done on a rotisserie which is um, rotisserie fed with charcoal and it, the charcoal actually gives it a nice flavor but for today I can't really do that um, I have the oven going at 385 I have a baking pan this is a pan I usually use outside for my little smoking and stuff and I have a cooling rack okay with a cooling rack what it's going to do is it's going to allow air to flow under the chicken and it's going to allow everything to cook evenly I think I might be able to get at least six pieces on this bad boy and um, I'm going to throw them in the oven I have the oven preheating I was picking up from yesterday this is what the chickens look like after they've been marinated overnight you just want to place them onto the rack Get them a little space. You want to put these bad boys in the oven on the middle rack. Now, the liquid you don't want to throw it away because you're going to use that to base the, um, the chicken throughout the cook okay Look at the change in color. You know, this bad boy sucked up so much of the, the marinade. This chicken is gonna be awesome. Now I'm up the temperature. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and place them in the oven. The oven is at 385. I'm gonna have them going for at least an hour. I'm gonna put them on the middle rack. And continue to check them. And base them throughout. Try to make sure you put them on the middle rack. Because you don't want them cooking too fast. You don't want them burning. You just want them to... You just want them to be able to, to cook slowly. And get nice and golden brown. In the meanwhile, you're going to always keep basting within the first the, the 30 minutes. Um, once you get to a 30 minute mark you're going to put them in after that you don't want to use the marinade again because you're going to cross contaminate your food okay all right while this is cooking I'm going to go ahead and um, make my little sauce for the for the Peruvian chicken I'm going to make the green sauce okay I don't really care for the other sauce so I'm gonna just stick with the green one. Okay? Now the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna wash and go in, in with a cup, a cup of parsley. If you get too hectic in there, you can always run the, the blade real quick. I'm going in with The Peruvian paste, pepper paste. Going in with a tablespoon and a half. I'm going in with some garlic, roughly about two to three cloves, which will be for me 
a tablespoon or a little less. Huh? Hmm. I don't care for all that garlic, garlic my wife feels like. Go in with some jalapeno. Now, you can go with at least two jalapenos, one jalapeno. It depends on how hot, how hot you want it to be. Um, I'm just go ahead in with that. It's just a little container full, like maybe two um, two tablespoons. You go in there with a half cup of mayo. I'm gonna put the blade on and let it run for a second. Make me a little space in this thing. So far, it's already beautiful. I'm going with one whole lemon is what it's called for, one whole lime. I'm just going in with a, a, a splash because you don't want it too tangy. At least I don't. So in with a splash, this is where you add your flavor. This is tailored to you. Your salt, your pepper, whatever, how much ever you want to put in there. I'm going in with roughly, uh, say roughly a uh, quarter of a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. Like I said, there's no measurement right there for that one. Going in with some black pepper, roughly about the same. And then I'm going to go in with some olive oil. That, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little taste. Mm. To use a little more salt and a little more pepper. But like I said, like this, for y'all, you just gotta make your own measurements, okay? That's the whole tablespoon right there. And I'm gonna go in with a little more black pepper. Tailor to my specifications. Make it as hot or as mild as you want. Okay? Alright, they say this thing is best made fresh every time that you, you're gonna make it. I'm not even waste my time tasting it again because I know with the amount that I just put in there, it is perfect. Alright, I'll see you guys.
right back when I'm about to baste the um, when I'm gonna baste the chicken. Okay, you want to put some more marinade on it, keep adding flavor to the bad boy, it helps add color to it and it adds lots and lots of flavor and that's what we always go for, to unload the flavor. Nothing fancy, the skin is coming along good. I just dab that and um, <laughs> a ton of little juice just spurred it up from in the chicken. There's no perfection. Take your brush and just dab it everywhere. Now this marinade itself is not just limited to chicken. I would think it works well with other different, you know, other meats. I haven't tried it as yet, but with a combination of flavors, I would think it actually, you know, works real good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys back into the oven. And I think I'm gonna crank this bad boy up to 400 degrees for the last few minutes. All right, I'm gonna see you guys back when I take it out of the oven for the last time. All right guys, this is the end of the line. This is what this beautiful chicken looks like. You got the green sauce. And you got that beautiful chicken. It's a shame I didn't, I couldn't put it on the grill, but I'm satisfied with how it turned out. I hope you guys will try this recipe. Leave a comment, let me know how you enjoyed it. And um, like, subscribe, share. And um, hey, Tell everybody about it. See you guys next time. Bye.